Hi there. Today I'm going to show you a quick little uh, tip I found which enables you to translate uh, every string with Polylang even though they are not registered with Polylang yet. E even if the plugin is not compatible or the team is not compatible. You've probably came across instances like this so it might, might be helpful. Um, let's see uh, what we got. So to show this um, First of all, I've got to say, uh, if you rather read or copy the code, I've written a blog post detailing all the steps. Um, it might be easier for some of you guys, but if you want to see how I did it, here's the video, so follow along. So I've created um, a fake shop. <laughs> it's a clean install where I installed Polyline as a translation plugin and it WooCommerce gift cards because I know yet is not really compatible with uh, Polylang. Some of the strings can be translated, others can't. So let me show you. So I have two languages, English, which is my main language, and Dutch, Netherlands, which is the second language. I have created a gift card. Uh, this is the Dutch variant of the website. And as you can see, this string is not being translated. This one is, the bedrag invoeren, bericht is being translated, but this placeholder, enter a message for the recipient and add the card are not being translated. These strings are not available in the translations. Some of them are, I think add to card might be, not really sure, might be in here. Nope, it isn't, but we want all these strings to be present. So let me show you how I've, di I've did that. So, to make our changes, we will go into the functions.php file of our child team. For my uh, case, I only have uh, a parent team, I don't have a child. Normally, you would put all this code and I'm going to show you into a child team. So, let's see what we are going to do. First of all, we're going to write a function. Uh, function polyline translate incompatible strings. We're going to accept three parameters, the translated uh, string, the untranslated string, and the text domain. In this function, we're going to do a check. With, we don't, we are going to hook this on the filter, get text. Get text, we're going to hook this function. The get text filter runs on every instance where the code calls this function. What you see right here, it's uh, the, the translation function from the uh, e, uh, internationalization uh, file. So e10n.php, I think it is in the WP includes. Um, what, what the get text function, function runs in there. What we're going to do is we're going to hook into that function and we're going to run polylang in between. But we're only going to do it when the domain is actually equal to the domain of our um, plugin we wish to translate. So we're going to do if domain is equal to git WooCommerce gift cards or because one of the strings is from WooCommerce <laughs> domain is WooCommerce we're going to return ELL underscore underscore translated then we got the building in a fail safe if not return translated because this function always needs to return something so the get text runs on every instance if it's in the text domain we'll wrap it with a polylang translation function if it's not in in the text in this one of these domains we will just return the translated uh, word okay that's that now our strings can be translated, but before we can actually translate the strings with Polylang, we need to register them. For that, we're going to hook into that init function. I'm just going to do a, a closure here. So I'm going to register three strings. P double PLL register string. The first is the name of the text domain. It will merge. Gift cards. I hope I'm not making any typos. I see a typo. Then we type the string. One thing note to note here: if the string has a space in it, even if the space is on the last position, include the space, or you won't be able to translate the string because uh, Polling won't be able to register it. And then we're gonna hook, uh, 
give it a domain, uh, the, give it a name, a group name. Git bookmers gift card. Okay, I'm gonna do this two more times for two more strings. So right here, enter a message for the re recipient. That's not correct. Recipient. Mm -hmm. Gotta make sure it's right. And then add to cart. Let's see if that works. Normally, when I go to the translations, okay, I've got an error. Uh, uh, two, few, one passed. Oh, oh, I see what I did. I forgot to add some important things here. First of all, the priority of this hook is going to be 9999 because I wanted to run very late. I've got three parameters here which I forgot, and I also want this hook to run very late. Again, let's see if that's that's okay. So now we have a new group here, hit book with good cards, which we have our strings. Let's see if we can translate it. Is een bedrag voor een bericht in word ontvanger. Zo gewoon aan middelmaat. Save changes. And if we've done everything correct. We should see our strings translated. So you see Dutch string, Dutch string, and Dutch string. It's a pretty neat solution if you need it. Um, the code, as I said, the code is also uh, in that blog post I've written. I will uh, put the link to that in the in the comment and the description below. If you like to see more of these tips, subscribe, drop a like, let me know in the comments. I'm glad to help you out. Ciao.